minus 10, 9, 8, 7. And we have main engine start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff. One of NASA's largest ongoing projects is the Space Launch System, or SLS, which will one day allow us to explore deep space destinations like asteroids and eventually Mars. In order to make the SLS a success, NASA centers must collaborate with one another to accomplish mission goals and reach major milestones. Two of the centers collaborating on the SLS project are Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama, and Stennis Space Center in Hancock County, Mississippi. While Marshall is the home to the SLS program and the Liquid Engines office, Stennis Space Center has long been known as the agency's largest rocket testing facility, and they have been extremely busy with the testing of the upgraded RS-25 engines. In fact, all RS-25 engine testing happens exclusively at Stennis Space Center. If these engines look familiar to you, it may be due to the fact that they were used as the Space Shuttle main engine for the last 30 years. Compared to the three RS-25 engines that the Space Shuttle had, the SLS will utilize four of them to produce two million pounds of thrust. The thorough testing of the RS-25 plays an essential role in upholding NASA's high standards of efficient and reliable engines. Did you know? In 1985, several of the rocket complex test stands currently being used to test these engines at Stennis Space Center were deemed National Historic Landmarks due to their significance in the development of the Saturn V rocket used for the Apollo missions. For more detailed information about NASA's RS-25 engines, you can find the conference paper titled Next Generation RS-25 Engines for the NASA Space Launch System on the NASA Technical Report Server or NTRS. The NTRS is one of the world's largest repositories of aerospace STI and features records ranging from the NACA era to today's cutting-edge research. That's all for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.